Hi guys, I've been given some cordless strimmers, three of them. Uh, two of them seem to work all right with the battery supplied. The Black & Decker doesn't work. This is the battery and the charger. A little bit so we can see. I don't actually know which tag is which, but we don't appear to be getting anything at all. Absolutely nothing. I've no idea what that tag is, I was just checking it. Nope, we're getting nothing at all. Just to check that my meter is working. Yep. So, apparently no charge in there. They look like those um, Torx type uh, screw heads. So we'll have a look in there in a minute. And we should be getting 18 volts out of it. Where are we? Yeah, 18 volts. This is the charger, so that's the two tags in there, so if we plug that into the mains, you would expect to see, or I would expect to see some voltage coming out of there. Whether it's got to draw a load or something before it'll actually kick in. But that's uh, 0.2 of a volt. So that doesn't look very promising either, does it? I mean, to be honest, 0.2 of a volt is more than I was measuring the other day when I was checking. Maybe that's just some sort of capacitance built up by the meter I was checking it with yesterday because it's made absolutely no difference. Plugging that in. No, that was just some sort of capacitance when I was measuring the voltage yesterday. That's just dying away whether it's plugged in or not. Uh, how about resistance? Right, if I short it out, I get the resistance of the leads, about 0.2 of an ohm. If I plug it into there, where we were, open circuit. Now, I would have thought I would have seen, ah, right, if we go the other way around, we got something. <laughs> Three mega ohms. In that way, open sorry. I think that's some sort of capacitance or Inductance. That could be a diode, I suppose, couldn't it? Cross it. In case you somehow short it out. But that doesn't look very positive, so that looks like the same sort of Torx screw heads. I'll see what I've got. See if we can get this apart first. Just see if there's loose wires or something in there. Well, a little bit of a delay there while I was looking through all my different boxes of screwdrivers trying to find 
the right size Torx um, or star drive some people I think call them right size Torx bit and I ended up and this this set has saved me several times set from Poundland and we got the right size I don't expect to find much in here but we'll have a look anyway you might be able to hear it started raining again fairly light at the moment right is this a big reveal uh, okay so we've got power comes in Well, even with my limited knowledge, I would say that was four diodes arranged in a rectifier bridge. So we've got AC power supply being converted to DC to charge the battery. The resistor there. I am not Big Clive, so I can't tell you what all the bits do. Although, as I say, rectifier bridge is re easily recognised. Wires come in from the power unit to those two tags. Then from there, via the diodes, they will be rectified. Full bridge rectifier. Oh yes, somebody else says that, don't they? One leg comes out to there, which is the back of that resistor. Goes across there. Then where does it go? It doesn't actually go anywhere goes up to those two tags. I bet that's for an LED which isn't fitted. Or am I misreading that? Tag. There and there. Ah, right, no. I'm misreading that. There'd be another resistor in there to go up to there to light up an LED, I reckon. Just to let you know the power's on. That resistor is across the feed to the positive. Battery positive, battery negative. So... If I put the power on and try and measure across these two tags, then we'll know if we've actually got power coming in. We don't want to short it out, so let's make sure those are out of the way. Right, measuring AC voltage, because that's what I'm expecting to see just here. So, looks like we're getting nothing out of the power supply. Curiouser and curiouser at the moment. And just a quick check, looking what the plug's actually got written on it. Input 230 to 240 volts, 50 hertz, 15 watts. Output 21.75 volts. 210 to 230 milliamps. Well, very inconclusive. 
The only positive thing I can say is at least we know which way round the positive and negative are on the battery. Because that slides in like that. So the positive is on the outside, negative is in the middle. Not that we've got anything there to measure. Well, I could take the battery apart. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this. I'm going to say I could Dremel it apart and have a look inside. Unless it's got an internal fuse, there's not much we can do with it. Right, we'll put the power unit to one side for now. I might have a sneak peek view at some of Big Clive's videos because I'm pretty sure he gets into these. I think he crushes them in a vise or a clamp. Let's see if we can get this thing open. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.